Really. Definitely full grown. He's gone now. Let's get the second shot on it. Yeah, uh, no. I can't find it. Be still, be still, get down. There's two more gobblers, wasn't there? I'm trying to get him in the camera. I can't believe I didn't kill him. It's him. Hey, you got him though. I can't believe I didn't get him. Go get him. That's a big old bird, son. Hey. That's a big old bird. God. Two year old. What was that other turkey that come up last? That third one, was it a hen? I think it's all gone. I think so too. This one's got one half inch spur and no spur. Did you see me head shoot him again? Yeah, I got it. Dang. <laughs> we need to step that off and see how far it is, man. He wasn't, he wasn't that far. Well, it messed him up. I shot him the first time, but it didn't kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Come on, man, get you some shoes and last one. Come on. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you didn't get the second shot. It was a badass shot. I know. Well, you got me on that one. Flying. <laughs> They just, they got fly like a dove from this building, you know what I reckon? <laughs> y'all, uh, y'all check out a blind we built this morning before. It's daylight. This right here is what the turkeys will see. We were here, we seen this, we saw this gobbler in the field yesterday. And me and Chris come up with a plan. We knew we could get in here and decoy them. And that's one of the few turkeys I've ever killed and not made a single call. Decoy did all the work. I never made a, a single call on him, so. so I know y'all a lot of uh, water on the lens, but I'm not I don't have anything dry to clean it. This kind of thunderstorm we was in. Look at Chris's truck. That big old cedar right there. Drop that big old log on the back of Chris's truck. And I hope he don't have any serious damage. So I don't know what we're gonna do now to get out of here. If we pull the limb off, then we can't back out. Huh. What do you think there, Chris? We ain't trying to camouflage the truck, it's just natural <laughs> camouflage. <laughs> it just happened, didn't it? I reckon. We Golly, we got a mess. Look at this wet, ugly son of a gun right here. and broke his wing, bust his heart. He got one spur, a half inch. No spur on the other side. We thought this was a big bird when he went up, come up there and picked on that other one, but he had the bigger beard, but I'm afraid the biggest bird was in the back. Uh, I just can't believe it worked out this morning in the weather we was hunting in, but you can't kill them if you don't go. We're soaking wet. We got a little break here. We're under Chris's shop. The rain's been coming down so loud we couldn't even feel my outro, so we ended up with this one. Uh, it was a rough, wet hunt this morning. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried my camera might act up on me because uh, all the water that got in it, but anyhow. Uh, I don't know why I missed that turkey. Jeb sent me one of their 650 constriction chokes. I patterned it twice. I've got rifle sights on my shotgun, and I don't know. I can't hit him unless he's flying like a dove, I reckon, because when he got up with blue sign, I folded him up. But it still didn't kill him. I had to shoot him a third time. That's a six dollar bird right there, them dang uh, Longbeard XR is about two dollars a piece. My buddy Aaron Nelson commented on Facebook the other day. He plum felt sorry for the turkey because I was going to wear them out with that new setup I got. And I told him one try they'd probably still get by me, and I was about right. But uh, anyway, we can get them close. Chris can kill them. I, I just shoot in there amongst them. <laughs> uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. We'll see y'all on the next. One. My turn next time. <coughs> that's right, that's right.